It's 5 a.m. somewhere. Pit row and the judging is gonna be crazy here because there's so many nice cars. I don't know how you get top last year, but I think that they've done it this year already. The quality of cars, just not even halfway down a row. <laughs> One row is crazy. Okay, bright and early. What time is it, boys? It feels like 12. <laughs> Midnight. It's five o'clock. It's 5 a.m. somewhere, and we are in Tennessee. We're kicking off, well, we've already kicked it off yesterday, but we're kicking off the triple crown riding so we're getting out there early because scott here has to it's yeah it's scott isn't he we'll blame it on me we'll blame it on it's me. scott scott wants to get out there early so we get a good spot so we'll see you we're going to show hey, you all hey, the event coverage hey we'll see who's got the hood up after a while chris <laughs> show dog it's only because it's chevy's car show, uh, dog. show yeah. dog chris yeah so chris is in uh, the 40 ford right yep just an old patina thing Joker. One of the multiple cars <laughs> in Chris's stable. Yeah. No, this thing's slick. And then, of course, we're in the 413 coupe you see behind us, and Scott's in the uh, TAM 5 window. Right. Yeah. So, and then Gil is coming. Uh, you'll see Gil in the uh, 56 uh, Ford F100. So, we're rolling out there today. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a hot day, I think, in the 90s. It's going to be nice this morning. So. We're gonna get on the road. We'll show you a lot of event coverage. We were out there yesterday. It is packed, so stay tuned. It's all in today's first episode at the Triple Crown of Rotting. The crew's all here now. We're lined up, we're ready to go out. We got Gil arrived in the F100, getting a little heat in the 413 coupe. So everybody's starting to roll out. We got Bobby in his uh, 34 Ford Roadster. We got Gil in his. 34 Ford and then of course Chris in the 40 Ford over there so we're gonna get this thing rolling let's uh let's get on the road get out there get a good spot well we're out here but we're lined up on the street <laughs> on the main road uh trying to get in so you see just everyone is the sun's coming up but just cars waiting for a gate to open and we're lined up all the way down the road um so yeah, last year we actually pulled in the track. We were all in the track and waiting in there. Uh, so it's a little bit more dangerous out here. So not sure, but uh, we made it. We're just waiting uh, to get in, but the sun's coming up, it's pretty. Row 
and the judging is going to be crazy here because there's so many nice cars.
morning, Kevin. How are you? showing her guns today. Hi, Suze.
are you driving, young lady? I love this car cab. Yeah, you look perfect in it. Hey, how are you doing? It's always good to see uh, familiar faces, new and old friends. That's what it's all about. Debbie's driving her brand new, well, not brand new, but brand new to her, Dave Lane Roadster that she picked off of uh, Opposing Cylinders. So you gotta check out the website, opposingcylinders.com. That was one that she picked up and she looks amazing driving in it. Gil and I are gonna take you through uh, some of the awards, right? We are, absolutely. We're not gonna show you all of them because there's probably 400 cars in here. I think there's a little bit more than 400 cars. I was told they had like 350 spots, but they're even further down, so you're not gonna see them all. We're gonna handpick a few select ones that we like. Yeah, absolutely, okay? let's do it. So, let's start off. That's nice. Did you do this one? The interior? So Gil, you did the interior in this? Well, we helped. We helped. We did. We did. It was a 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, and, and it's fun because you get to learn how to do that on somebody else's. Oh, absolutely. The whole thing is that we stand through this all the time. We've got a great day. Yeah, it's funny. So I, I don't claim to be a painter. Um, I have experience doing it, but uh, much the same way your autocross racers and your road racers will tell you that you don't go all the way to the tires and push the car off the track. It's kind of an analogy when it comes to the brakes. Is it?
I think I've said it already. Uh, I don't know how you get top last year, but I think that they've done it this year already. The quality of cars, just not even halfway down a row. <laughs> One row is crazy. Um, man, great turnout here. And I also heard that they pre-registration, they doubled what they had pre-registered last year. Uh, so they had a ton of cars pre-registered and that doesn't count all the cars that came in additionally. So just a lot of quality. We're gonna continue to show you more quality. Let's look. Nothing that nice. Excuse me. Thank you. 
that thing's awesome. It's excited to see it. So it's not just race stuff. Correct. Yeah, cool. And uh, so the other half of the display has some of the GearStar products. What do you guys got going on on that side? Uh, we try yeah. a lot of our various transmissions for GM, Ford, uh, Mopar applications. So we're offering two, three, four, six speed oh, transmissions. We're able to put a, an automatic transmission in. We just bought in the application to support over 1,500 horsepower. Yeah. So here's yeah. kind of a left field made machine question. How do you know when one is failing? That would be what? a great question. Hey Kyle, how are you doing? Hi Kyle. Hi Kyle. And uh, yeah, there's still plenty of magazines out there. And uh, so support the print. They're not going to stay around if you don't buy, don't subscribe. So spend money. Same thing with the rest of the vendors here. They're here to sell parts. They're here to talk. They're here to do tech. Go buy, talk, meet, order some parts for your next hot rod. That's what they're all here for. I couldn't have said it better myself, Tim. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Brian Brennan, in the Garage Media. Susan, where's Susan? Oh, there's Susan. Hi guys. So we're walking together now. Uh, checking out the rest of the cars. Gil and I didn't make it far. We tend to talk too much. Yeah. But we're gonna check out a few more cars here. 
before they all pull out for the day. And uh, what, what a crowd, what a group of cars. So amazing.
That's right, in Nashville, man. Yeah, man. And uh, the VA Radio Podcast is, uh, you know, generally an automotive theme for the most part. Today, we're obviously talking about where we're at, which is where, Mikey? Oh, boy, we are at the Triple Crown of Rotting in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. So, I was at this event last year, uh, the inaugural, and uh, it was dynamite. And everybody was wondering, hey, how are we going to be able to top last year's this year? Uh, and this is your first year, your first impressions of this thing is, is what? Well, from what I've, I've been able to see, this, this show is the next level. Just when I think that it Hooking this up, Uber. Uber. Everything, and that's part of it. And, and also now, I mean, what other event do you go Closing to that you can go in there now and have yeah, some of yeah. the premier builders so. in the country lined up at a table? It's got the event planner. Visit with you for a few minutes and everything, and I'm for sure, sure. got giants in the industry and. Yeah. Our group is just uh, relaxing here and we're waiting on an Uber to take us back. 
And while we're waiting, I'm just filming some cars pulling out here, see if we see anything else interesting. It was a great day here at the Triple Crown, but we got one more day to go, so stay tuned for part two of the uh, Triple Crown of Riding video series.